In this experiment, Clive C6 will wirelessly exchange data with the smartphone via Bluetooth. Please follow the below steps. 1. Install a Bluetooth control app on an Android smartphone, such as Arduino Blue Control, whose APK can be downloaded from Google Play and also provided in the Sketch folder. Two, power on Clibo C6. It can be either supplied by battery or USB cable. As long as Clibo C6 is on, the built-in Bluetooth module is in operation. Three, enable Bluetooth on the smartphone. Scan new device and pair a new device called HC-05, which is the built-in Bluetooth module in Clibo C6. 6 with the password 1234. After paired, you should see the HC-05 is added to the pair list on the Bluetooth menu. 4. Run the Bluetooth control app. And click the refresh button on the top. Choose HC-05 to connect Clibo C6. After seconds, the connection is built. The app is ready to receive data sent by Clibo C6 as well as to send data to Clibo C6. 5. Tap to run terminal in the app. A terminal window opened. 6. Upload the sketch 2.15 Bluetooth to Clibo C6. When upload complete, you should see a line Bluetooth ready, send 0, 1 or 2, shown on the terminal window. When you see this, the Bluetooth is successfully established between the smartphone and Clibo C6. 7. Try to enter either 0, 1 or 2 in the text box at the bottom of the terminal window. The Clibo C6 mouse LED should respond off, on, or flash, respectively. This means that Libel C6 successfully received data sent via Bluetooth. This sketch allows Clibel C6 exchange data with the smartphone. After the start, a serial communication library software serial.h is declared. The Arduino hardware has this built-in support for serial communication. Two variables TX and RX are assigned to the pin TXD and the pin RXD on Bluetooth module respectively, which pass to a software serial class instance Bluetooth inst and inform the hardware which two pins are used for data exchange. Very similar to operation of the serial monitor, the class function begin initialize Bluetooth communication and set the speed of 9600. The data to be sent is given in the double quotation marks 
which is sent by the function print ln. After this line, the text Bluetooth ready send 0, 1 or 2 is received by the Bluetooth app on the smartphone, which means the Bluetooth has been established. Clibo C6 has successfully sent the first text to smartphone wirelessly. The mouse LED is turned on. In loop function, Clibo C6 continuously checks the arrival of any data sent by smartphone. If any data sent by the Bluetooth app, the class function available becomes true, and it runs the if to read the data into Bluetooth data variable. The following ifs will compare the received data with three values. If it is a zero, the LED will be dimmed. And an acknowledgement, Clibo C6 mouse LED off is sent back to the smartphone to tell the mouse LED has been turned off as a consequence of receiving the command. We can see the acknowledgement on the Bluetooth app. If the Bluetooth data is 1, the LED will be switched on with the acknowledgement Clibo C6 mouse LED on. If the Bluetooth data is 2, the LED flashes 5 times with the acknowledgement Clibo C6 mouse LED flashing. In the whole operation, Clibo C6 follows receiving operation acknowledgement cycle. This allows the operation is correctly executed and the sender is fully informed with the results. We can now use Bluetooth communication to interface Clibo C6 with external world.